Hey friends, welcome back. I am in the most enchanted, beautiful city here in Esfahan, in Iran. And uh, if you missed the previous video, I have started exploring the city. I've been here like a couple of days and I think today is my last day. And today's video, what we are going to do is we're gonna explore the small bazaar, Onar Bazaar it's called, and then we're gonna make our way through all the way to the end and towards the palace. Can't remember the name of the palace, we'll probably say it in the next shot. Throughout the video once we arrive to the palace. And look at this bazaar, look, you can see Bazaar Onar. And this is a beautiful entrance here to the bazaar. I love the gate. The gates here in Iran is absolutely stunning. And it goes all the way to the end. We can see the daylight at the very end. Let's go in, explore, wander, get lost in this beautiful city. Wow. Salam. This is like a jewelry section here in the bazaar. Oh my god, man, that looks amazing. And if we have learned something about bazaars here in Iran, is those holes above, you can see. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, look at this here. What's this? Ah, I think this is like an entrance to a mosque, but it is locked. And if we learn something about this, these holes are designed back in the days where they d like they provide daylight. Obviously now we have electricity, but back in the days there wasn't any electricity, so there used to be like a, a way of light in the bazaar that you can see here. All this, it seems like a uh, jewelry shops. My God, it's so beautiful though. I love it. <laughs> I think I think this is where you know. Uh, all the all the engagement rings are bought from. <laughs> it's amazing. It's beautiful, actually. Look at this. What a display. Very nice. And yeah, just continue. Actually, every single shop is jewelry here. So if you are ever in Esfahan, you know where to buy your engagement ring from. <laughs> <laughs> Honor Bazaar. Anyway, we are arriving to the very end, to the other side of this bazaar. My God, look at this beautiful gate. Very beautiful. Amazing. Okay. I see a security man in front of me. I see police. Whoever he is, I want to put the camera down, pass through, and we'll continue. Right, you can see behind me. Wow, what a gate though. You can see Onar Bazaar. Beautiful gate. Beautiful park also over there. Check out the previous video. I have been there already. But right now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make my way over to the palace. And uh, I think I'm gonna check out this palace because it's one of the must-see palaces here in the country, not only in Esfahan. So let's get there. So I have arrived like just on the side of the road. I saw like this alley. I don't want to point the camera because I'm not sure what the building is, but there's a shop here. Salam. Pomegranate yeah. juice? You have? You have an oil muscle. Pomegranate juice, Pomegranate. apple juice, orange juice. Ah, no, juice. fresh juice. Fresh. Can you make fresh? juice. Yeah, this one. You have an oil juice. Oh, mamnun. Glass? Hey, yes, yes, glass. Fresh juice. No, no ice. No ice. No ice. No ice, no, ice, no syrup, no sugar. Perfect. Natural, 100%. I love it. <laughs> he sold me from the street. That was a lifesaver, actually. Mamnun. <laughs> Translating for me. Oh, we can sit there? Sure, why not? Let's sit. Sure, let's sit. <laughs> we can sit here. But I'm going to sit this way, aiming to the street, because... Um, I'm not sure what this building is and there's a lot of fences so <laughs> I don't know if that was a good idea ordering drink here but <laughs> and vlog but look how it looks this is it very nice simple shop I like it right let's give this juice a taste test and we'll continue the tour Mamnoon there you are Mamnoon thank you <laughs> look at this for a presentation my god look at how full it is as well wow it looks amazing. Let's give it a taste test, shall we? Look at the size of that. Way. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, it's so good, man. I love it. I love pomegranate juice. It's amazing. Right, so I just have finished the drink and it was absolutely delicious. I've been sitting here for a few minutes and I've been reminiscing and thinking about... <laughs> I made a mistake. I never asked for the price before they served me the drink. So there's one thing that I learned in Iran is they'll do anything to take your money. It's as simple as that. It's a business oriented country and they are they're very cheeky and sneaky the way how they make their business. Now I know this is not my first drink and this is not my first day in Iran. I've been traveling for, for quite some time now and I've ordered pomegranate juice before and I understand in every city and every town will be different but the difference is, is not really that high. Um, carry juice for example in Isfahan you can get it for about like 20 toman uh, which is about 200,000 real and in Kashan I got it for 10 which is like half the price but smaller town is understandable here I don't get the same deal obviously I understand that I want to go in now and pay and see how much they're gonna charge me my estimate to this drink shouldn't be more than 40 40 would be the max for me to pay Toman. <laughs> Let's see how much it is. Oh, it's funny. How much? 15,000 Toman, speak jealous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, know. I, I know, I know. <laughs> A small 45,000 Toman? Yeah. Big, Big is 50. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> it's so f cheeky. I love it. Uh, it's fair because it's actually a big glass rather than the smaller one. Which is the small glass? Can I see? Oh. Big shallows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can also see the cheeky smile on his face. It's my fault. Ah, uh, so this is this is the glass there. That's the smaller one. They're right. Small. They're right. They're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give them the 15. That's <laughs> so cheeky. Alright, we'll give them the money and then we'll move on with this. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, let's go to the palace. Oh my god, <laughs> it's incredible. Right, here we are, we made it. Shehel or Kehel Sultan Museum. And here is the entrance. Salam. And this is what we are looking at, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so beautiful. Look at this yard. Gorgeous. Ticket price is 1 million and it's incredible for local is like 50,000. The difference is huge, you know. And there he is. And he writes it in English because like he knows. And that's the entrance. Let's pay him, come on. Let's go in and check it out. I think it's worth it. It looks amazing. Salam. Salam. To be fair, like, I mean, they even give you this, like, printed ticket. Nice. Now we are here. For those who are curious, one million is about dollars or so to enter this palace. And look at this for a view. Oh my god. Somebody was living here? Is that what I understand? Come on, let's check it out. Go for a walk. Let's start right first, but what is here? So, main entrance, main pool, old tree, la la la. Okay, cool. We'll read about that off camera. But look at this for a view. Amazing. Very beautiful. Making my way to the palace. I think first, there is a little bit of walk I can take around here. Salam. Salam. And check it out as well. But for now, look at it. There are like painters here. And over there, that guy is a painter. And look at the palace. So somebody was living here? That Like that was somebody's home? You know, like, I mean, like back in the days. I'm not sure how old that is because it wasn't written on that sign. Maybe in this sign we can check it out there are some things under construction here 
or just because it's holding it maybe because it's falling it's old so the formal of the palace was in the year 1057 so <clears throat> a little over like a thousand years old this place a thousand years man crazy like well, let's go inside actually check it out wow those columns though like you know this here it's wood <laughs> tap it like that it could fall on me <laughs> oh it's gorgeous really nice though I have to say the truth always has to be told I like like this thing here I have noticed it in so many mosques and gates and all that good stuff here it looks like a, a beehive gorgeous very beautiful very very nice Look at this space, amazing. Let's go inside. I want to check out what's inside here. Oh my God. Wow. Look at the ceiling, man. The art is incredible. Look at that. Very beautiful. But this like these guys here and the in the painting looks like the Mongol, right? And here looks like the Mongol. And then over here they look like the Mongol, but here they look Persians. Very interesting. And over here, this side, they look Mongols. Oh, it's actually, it looks like they look like a bit of a mixture Mongol and Persian, but I, I'm gonna go for Mongol here. And the same thing here. Very beautiful, very nice. I like it. What a space, amazing. And we can also enter from here and check out what this space is about. is amazing what's here mm, you can see some of it like is faded out and they kind of like painted over it you know or they removed or something and what is this here it's like it looks like doors and windows and it's strange like it's written in Pharisee here oh this is nice and look there's a chair there another window there very nice I like it amazing right I think this space is covered from the inside the palace is being covered from the inside what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a walk outside and check it out basically see how it looks like from the outside and all around surrounding shall we I mean, we made it this far might as well very beautiful look at the top of the ceiling cool very nice Right, just exited the palace and I'm making my way around this park area. You know, it's, it's part of the palace, by the way, it's all gated. You know, you, you, there's only one entrance to the palace from where I came from. And usually it would be like full of water here, I guess, all surrounding the palace. Uh, but as I mentioned in previous videos, Iran at the moment is dry. There's not enough water in the country apparently, so they are conserving this water, you know, for essentials rather than 
sceneries, but I think in during spring or or so maybe this will be different of course so I'm making my way around the palace now uh, to check it out from the back and see how it looks like there it is they are doing some construction there or, or something but that's how it looks from around in the back and it's actually quite beautiful I love this I've said it before I don't I'm not sure if I said it in this video or the previous video or other videos but I just love the way how the gates are here in Persia or in Iran by the way this land here this country used to be called Persia but because of the Islamic Revolution they changed it from Persia to Iran which <laughs> I ask people and locals why nobody knows why anyway look at this so yeah I like the way how they put, you know, this like, it's like, imagine that that, that is a gate. It's not, but imagine if it was, because it has the shape of a gate. And uh, they always have like this blue, yellow, orange, pink, you know, tiles with the shaping like flowers and all that. I, I really love that. And it is facing another uh, smaller fountain than what we saw from the front. That's how it looks from here very beautiful I like it what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna walk this way here this side and I'm gonna check out that area there and see what it's got to offer also like it's a it's a pity that again I mentioned earlier that they, they they're conserving the water so the fountains are not active pretty much everywhere in the in, in the country really and here like you know the palace is there this is like a path through that actually kind of looks like the the fountain of life in a way that we saw like in a, in Turkey in Mardin not exactly the same but there is like a pool and then there is like a path that goes through uh, you know um, uh, the day you were born and then continues to childhood and then you know the youth and then the adulthood and then you arrive to um, to death it's uh, for some reason I looked at this and it reminded me of that in Mardin in one of the madrasas that we visited in previous videos it's all in the channel you should check it out if you have not if you're new to the channel do check it out uh, this journey is limitless borders we are crossing we're crossing from Europe all the way to India by land. Every border we are crossing is on foot and there is a lot of problems and <laughs> challenges along the way. <laughs> I cannot stress that, that enough. Like you guys are watching like the final cut was. <laughs> There's a lot of things happening in the background. Anyway, uh, where am I now? Is there something to check out here? Because this is it like otherwise, no? Now come on, let's check out this side here before we exit so I, I have made it to the end all right of like the fence where the palace yard is and I'm here right now standing and there's a, like a door here it's locked there is this thing not sure what it is but it could be part of the mosque somewhere around this area here but I cannot go to because it's fenced and the thing is like in the map at the entrance I actually I think I, I took a I took a video of it, I filmed it, I think. Uh, but I took a picture of it just to kind of know the area and what to explore. There's not really that much. If I cannot go to the mosque from here, if I have to exit and pay again, <laughs> it's Iran, like, you know. They're really good. They're very cheeky, like, when they're making money, you know. Like, with the juice, he never asked me whether I want small or big. I didn't know if I had the choice, you know. <laughs> he just gave it to me, you know. But I want to check if... If I can go to the mosque from here, and if I can't, oh man, I'll be, I'll be really upset because that would be absolutely not worth the visit. And yeah, so I see a gate. It's not open from here. It's shut, but is it locked? That's the question. I do want to go to the other side. There is, I think, a mosque here and another thing that I could visit over that side. Uh, it looks like it's shut. It's shut. It's locked. Yeah, I think it's locked. Like, like, why would you add it to the map and be part of it? 
you know? I mean, look, I'm, I'm just gonna do like a <laughs> local style. <laughs> oh, I can't, yeah. It look like there's a camera there as well. Yeah, this is, this is what I don't like about visiting those touristic places. There's always something that, you know, it's not worth it. The fountain is not active. The water is not running. The building is under construction. <laughs> I don't know, like, it, it, ha it shouldn't be like, I think it's not worth the visit to be honest. I think this palace is overrated. Uh, <laughs> it's not good. Uh, what, what, you got to understand, like, it's not about the money, it's, it's just the principle behind it. When locals are paying 50,000 real, and uh, you know, foreigners are paying 1 million, look at the difference, like, it's absolutely ridiculous, you know? And I know every country that you go to in this part of the world have this system. We're not used to it in the West, everybody pays the same, that's it, we're all equal. And I get it, okay? But on a conversion rate, we can uh, understand it, we are okay. But having said that, overall, I don't think it's worth the visit. It is only this area here. Here. That's the entrance. And all this, the fountain and the palace. This is really pretty much what you are paying dollars to see. That's it. You know? Um, I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna say anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna put the end to this video right here and then with the palace behind me. If you made it this far, thank you all for watching. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't done already. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps with me and it helps with the algorithms. And as always, see you on the next one.